Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Finally, senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this, a brand new day, and remember, no matter who you are, you are valid. Thumbs up for that. Hokey smokes. Well, today was a therapy day. I had my online therapy, and it went. It was good, but I have not gone out for walkies, because it starts at 9 o'clock a.m. my time, and runs, you know, 45 minutes because an hour is actually less than that because they have to do things. But I had my session and then I decompressed a bit and then I'm here doing this now. It is a little bit after noon. After I get this edited, rendered, uploaded, I'm going to finally go out on walkies. So that's a good thing. First things, one of the first things I want to say is, yes, it was pointed out to me in comments that I was using a term wrong. And yes, it is absolutely true. My brain will latch on to things and then just hang on to them without letting the conscious part of my mind realize what's going on. I have never wanted to buy an all-in-one computer. That is not what I have wanted to do. Pre-built is what I have meant this entire time. So yes, it is a pre-built from CyberPower PC or a pre-built from some place like Best Buy. Though to me, when I was looking, because I did some look on Best Buy, it still seemed like the CyberPower PC ones were superior. But then I'm I'm out of the loop on knowledge, but from, you know, Googling review, blah, 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 for chip, for, you know, it's, it's not going to be top-of-the-line graphics cards. Because top-of-the-line graphics cards cost as much as one of the pre-builds I'm looking for. <laughs> and that, that's not anywhere near. Like, ray tracing? People that have ray tracing? I, I don't care about that. I like pixel art. I'm not a big fan of the ultra-realistic look of a lot of games, even indie games. I like art that has style, so has character. Ultra-realistic just puts you into the, okay, it's another realistic pile. Whereas stylistic art puts you into a relatively small stack and you stand out. So that's my view on it. I'd rather have a stylistic art style than something that's realistic. But that's just me. I mean, I have played and enjoyed the game. Well, it was... Uh, God's above my brain. I kept trying to say Biohazard because that's like the Japanese name and all of it, but ah, uh, Resident Evil 7. <laughs> and then that was so hard, where they, it's a realistic, as realistic as they could get, looking for the time with the situation, uh, rather horrific stuff going on, as realistic as that situation would be. But even that was stylistic, so thumbs up. Anyway, though, that was just, uh, I wanted to say, oops, I have made a mistake with my use of, uh, the use of Alden 1 rather than pre-build. Yeah, because it's the pre-builds. The pre-builds that are, you can upgrade them if you wish to. You can gut them and put in other parts should you wish to not an all-in-one where you it's no better than a laptop i can't upgrade a laptop i don't have the skill and such like that whereas i feel that some parts i can upgrade on a computer desktop unit because before the destruction of my last machine because i had a cat there was a lot of dust and cat hair, and I had dust, and I had my windows open, so there was pollen, 
every six months or so I had to unscrew my computer, open it up, take apart the it was a water-cooled system, so I had to blow the air out of the blow the air, blow the dust out of the radiator, and then I took out the graphics card so I could blow the dust out of that, and then I took and blew all the dust out of my motherboard and around it to make sure it was all clean, and then put it all back together, and everything was okay. But yeah, I can do that. That's not troubleshooting. That's just making sure I put the parts back where I took them out from. And I am good at putting pieces of tape on connectors and such saying this goes here so that I don't know, I don't know, I don't get lost while I'm doing all that. So thumbs up. I also have other things written down here. One of them is I have not had mosquito netting over the front of my AC unit for very long. It is filled with gnats. The screen part itself has is just bugs that were thrown out through the output part of it and smacked up dead up against the screen. And then a fair number of them that after I turn the machine unit off, like it's off right now, they've fallen off the screen and they're against the bottom of the screen and the plastic of the unit case. It's full. Oh, there are so many gnats here. It's the middle of November. It hasn't frozen yet. I hate to be that old man saying things were different when I was younger. But even when my wife was alive, 10 years ago, it froze here right around September, beginning of October, that sort of thing. It got cold. Now it gets chilly, but it hasn't frozen. There's been no frost. <sighs> so the air is filled with gnats and my... AC unit sucks them in because they're interested in the AC unit because gnats like AC units. So thank goodness somebody mentioned get mosquito screen. Because that, whoo, it's only going to be another week before I'm going to have to change that. And that's going to be fun. Now I know better how to put it on there and how best to get it so that it captures more bugs without my having to worry about them getting caught inside of the machine. Ugh. <sighs> Plus, <laughs> oh, I might as well say this part now. I'll do this. I wanted to say thank you to some people. I have six up there. It's not all the people, but some people who have left me comments. And I wanted to thank Jesse Koskinen, who has fairly reliably left me comments and that is greatly appreciated. Thumbs up and thank you very, very much. We have Sir Schmuckle who has been helping quite a bit in my uh, pursuit of getting a new computer. Breno Young, thumbs up and thank you. I don't know anything about you. I, first time I have consciously seen your name. There is Ordway666, thumbs up and thank you. Again, no, nothing to really wrap my, my head around as, boy, do I know or not know this name. And Turniphead23, who actually was the person who said, uh, I'm not sure, I don't want to offend, but I don't think you're using the term all in one correctly. And I was like, you are correct. You are absolutely 100% correct. I was using that term wrong, which is why I've gone today to say, oh boy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Goofy mistake, especially since I say it, I hear it, I think it, and I know an all-in-one is not what I want because I've looked up all-in-ones and gone, oh, that's not what I want, and then looked up pre-builds and then continued to call them that. So thumbs up. And I also wanted to say, hey, if you could like, if you could comment, if you could subscribe, if you could share the video with people that you think would like watching an old man yammer on about I-Name subjects, that would be very, very cool. 
also frequently incoherent about those subjects. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about was there is a YouTube channel, and I think I've mentioned this before, called Mage Hammer's Game Table, something very, very close to that. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because on Itch, at least, and probably on Drive Through, there is a game that they've made, Delves and Dangers Definitive Edition. And they've been doing solo RPG runs using their system. And I had left a comment saying I, because they, in their video said, they had come up with their system because other games had friction points and he wanted to make a game that he didn't have to just homebrew over other people's friction points. And so he made up his game, Delves and Dangers Definitive Edition. And I left a comment on one of those saying, I, I really love everything about your game, except on page 18, your experience system of, well, it's up to your game master to decide if you go up a level or not, and when you do, if you do. I went, I, that's a, oh, that's a friction point I can't really get over. And I've used some of the words that he used in the video going, gosh, you know, I I wanted to, you know, homebrew over a friction point, but I didn't design the game. And so there was talk saying, well, you could try this every three adventures you go up a level. I had tried doing that in the beginning, though it's not what they do now. And so I said, it's, that's nice carving out an exception for me. But that's not the way you've designed the system, nor is it the way that you're going to keep going in the future. And they said in return, you know, we've had conversation like that. It wasn't just straight that bop, bop, bop. There was other words involved in it too. But it was, oh, I had originally designed it and then changed it. And my statement back was, yeah, but you decided. Nah. So it, it's... It's your game. You don't have to please me. This game pleases you. That's fine. It's my neurodiverse brain that's caught on the friction point. But he said that, you know, he enjoys talking about things, so... It was a, it was a nice conversation. I made sure to say uh, I meant nothing hostile about anything because I've noticed this for a very long time that my comments, even to me, will look and sound hostile. But they're not. They're the more neurodiverse bluntness. So, yeah, I said, uh, even to me, they seem kind of hostile, so thank you for engaging. No hostility was meant. I was just no not being flowery or extra polite. It was just... Uh, da, 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 da. So, I'm up for that. But anyway, though, that's all I have really been doing. I had therapy, as stated today, and on these days, it is decompression after t after talking in therapy. We didn't talk about a lot of really in-depth stuff, but it was a lot of minor things, and that's... A lot of minor things equals one big thing. And there are things that I talk around because I'm not ready to talk about them yet. And in general, it's stuff that I just need decompression time. And that's that's okay. I'm going to go out for walkies. I'm going to have that decompression time. I need to pick up some food. And I need desperately to stop eating boxes of six donuts as I've been doing. I've gotten fat enough that of my three pairs of pants, I only fit in two. Now, they're all of the same waist size, and so one of them I can't wear while the other two I can. I'm not exactly sure what's going on because I'm still the same waist size and can wear the other two just fine. But... 
I got to stop eating bread products, stuff with gluten in them, no matter what. Because even if they don't make me fat, which they do, lots of calories in them, I am gluten intolerant. And that's not good for my system digestively. And I fall into gluten comas after I eat anything with gluten in them. Which is, when I say gluten coma, it's just after about an hour after I've eaten any, any wheat type products, I start getting really sleepy and then I cannot stay awake. I fall asleep no matter what I'm trying to do. And then when the, my system has processed enough of it, I'm able to push that off and wake up and then continue going. But gluten comas are not much fun. Past that though, still playing computer games as best I can, still playing my solo RPG stuff and solo board game stuff as best I can, still thinking of creative things on my own solo RPG setting and such, so that's good. It is good to be creative. Definitely a thumbs up on that. I've mentioned this before. You do not have to make anything to sell if you like to make things, especially when they say, oh, if you make your hobby your job, you'll never work again. No, that just turns your hobbies into work and you will not like them anymore because they are work. Just be creative and produce for the sake of creating and producing. If you like to create worlds and you write them down in notebooks, fill those notebooks with worlds. If you like to create characters and situations, do so. Create. You don't have to create for other people. They are, I was going to say unimportant, but it depends on your focus. If you want to eventually impress other people and make a living by selling stuff, then yeah, other people are important. But if you're just creating for yourself, as I have been advocating, other people, not important. So what if you'd like to fill notebooks with like drawings of living potatoes that have their own society and cultures and such? If you can fill notebooks with that, awesome. You don't have to please anyone else. And if you work that out enough, you probably could sell stuff in the end. People going, oh, I want to know how the, pe the potato people live. So thumbs up on that. Anyway, though, where was I? I can't even remember the words I was going to say. I think it had to do with... <laughs> <laughs> if you are a Patreon patron, thumbs up and thank you. It is appreciated. I am doing better because I am living here. And so your help lifts me higher than it was when I was spending all of my money on rent. You were helping me just with sheer survival at that point. I don't need your help for sheer survival anymore. I am able to live now with your help. I am still a hurting person. You know, I am not anywhere up here. I am still a hurting. But it's so much better than being where I was. Thank you so much for your help. It is appreciated. When you look in the mirror, you're looking at someone who is beautiful and awesome, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Thumbs up and thank you. For everybody that leaves me a comment, it is greatly appreciated as well. I read every one that YouTube shows me. I answer as many as my nerve compression will allow. And I thumbs up and heart as many that YouTube will let me do. So thumbs up, thank you. You are all beautiful and awesome in your own ways as well. Do I have anything close by that I could grab that would not be annoying? Maybe this, if you could write Spring Valley into the comments to let me and the YouTube algorithm know who exactly watches this far. I know it's not many, and that's just the way that things work. I'm not irate about that. 
even people with tens of millions of subscribers relative to their numbers the people that make it to the end is minuscule so if you have made it this far thumbs up and thank you it is appreciated to no end so until we meet again you take care have a great day today I will see you on the flip side and that is indeed a very very good thing no words of wisdom just